we are going to continue on uh, creating a crystal report using freehand SQL this is our existing report using the standard report wizard where we simply dragged and dropped tables and joined them using database expert we had three tables address county and state and all had inner joins we create a duplicate report but this time we'll use uh, freehand SQL simply go to uh, file uh, new and blank report and we'll use our current connection you can create your own connection and uh, we'll have our current um, data source connection and we'll simply add a command this is the freehand SQL panel we'll have our select statements from tables and work clause so we'll have our address table or alias set to A have state table alias to S and county table alias C we'll inner join them and again don't worry about the relationship uh, you'll come to know it based on your environment we'll create a, a parameter called state and we'll set that in the work clause to the state name of the state table once you click OK before that we'll have to before clicking OK we'll have to make sure if it's a string type we'll have to put a quote so you click OK we'll have to um, uh, provide a state name valid or invalid doesn't matter at this point I will just put Arizona or Alaska whatever it is anything we'll click OK it will validate and we'll click OK again it will bring in everything um, for Arizona but we don't have anything in the report design panel once we have uh, this is our uh, other report using the standard report user so we'll use the same layout We'll also have to create that uh, uppercase city, much like uh, we created, just like we created in the uh, stand uh, the report using standard report wizard. Again, command shows up here. That's the name of our query. We'll uh, change the name from um, of this query from command to something more intuitive soon. So you click OK, that formula is ready, you'll drag it. We'll go back, copy the title, and rename the title. If we run now, we'll uh, get the result for Arizona because remember, remember that when we were uh, when we created the state parameter, we set we gave it a value of Arizona, so it remembers it and it just uses it without prompting it anymore. We'll uh, add group by similar to our existing report from uh, you know using standard report wizard. So we could use state name from their uh, command panel or the report fields it doesn't make a difference so now we have a group tree of Arizona on the left hand side now let's go and change our query name from command to something more intuitive so simply right click that and edit and let's make it call it freehand SQL or freehand crystal and as you can see that all the formulas that had command associated with it it's now changed to freehand or whatever the name you choose for your query we'll also add the city but this time instead of adding the actual city we'll add the formula uppercase city so crystal report has this flexibility of uh, choosing or grouping rather and now you see that the cities are showing up under Arizona much like uh, we've had, we have in our uh, standard on the report that was created using standard report wizard so they're basically the same if we hit refresh 
this time it's going to prompt us to um, enter a state but uh, what if you do not know the value in this case since state state is a uh, static state will always have a static list of values 50 states or so you, you could import that uh, from a text file um, so we'll go to the parameter field we'll edit the parameter and we'll import the values of that parameter because it's a static parameter these values will always uh, be used when prompted to the user so I've created this list before actually exported it for, exported it so the first line don't or don't worry about the first line it's um, crystal creates that uh, syntax so we'll click OK and all the list of state all the uh, names of the states are here see if we export this list and let's call it stage 2 and save it I'll go back to check it I will open stage 2 and you see that a crystal report again put that first line so that's not a uh, anything to worry about it's a syntax of crystal We'll click OK and we'll hit refresh. And now it will give us all the list of uh, states that we just inputted. And let's say we pick Georgia and we have Georgia and all the cities under Georgia. And that's how we create a static parameter with static list of values.